children today we are going to have information about the chapter black beauty this chapter has been written by anna swell this is the first chapter of a much loved classic tale told from a horse's point of view in this chapter the young horse black beauty tells us about his early life let's have some information about its author anna swell was born in 1820 and she died in 1878 she was an english novelist known widely for her novel black beauty the novel deals with the well being of animals and giving gives lessons in kindness sympathy and respect for others it's fiction and its genre is fable it tries to create a bond between animals and humans it also teaches us the technique of personification personification is a technique where non human creatures are given the qualities of human creatures inanimate objects are given the qualities of animate things it also focus the enhancement of vocabulary and command over different narrative techniques black beauty is the hero and narrator of our story of course he is a baby at this point and doesn't even have a name yet but for a purpose we'll call him beauty six other colts live in the meadow with beauty and his mother they play together like neighborhood kids on the same block they used to gallop all together round and round the field as they could because boys will be boys sometimes beauty and the colts play a little rough beauty's mom duchess call him over one day and gives him a little lecture she says the colts are good colts but don't have great manners and they are only cart horse colts beauty on the other hand is well bred and well born his grandfather was a famous race horse and his grandmother had the sweetest temper of any horse ever so beauty's mom gives him a major life lesson which he never forgets beauty calls their owner farmer gray and says he's a good and kind man who spoke as kindly to us as he did to his little children his nickname for beauty is darky and beauty thinks he and his mom might be their master's favorites a pluff boy named dick who visits their field sometimes throws stones and sticks at the colts one day beauty's master catches him in the act and punishes him for it with box on the ears beauty says that was the last they saw of dick and that old daniel the man who took care of the horses was just as gentle as their master let's learn about the difficult words in this story the first word to be highlighted is rush which stands for tall grass like plants that grow in wet place places another difficult word is hedge hedge is a line of bushes or shrubs growing close together around a garden or field next grow a group of trees there is also word colt which stands for young male horses gallop here stands for a horse runs when a horse runs at fastest speed uh, frequently means often again and again there is another difficult word winnied which stands to made a high sound through its nose and mouth cartha cart horse a big strong horse used for pulling carts and other heavy things another difficult word is trot which stands to move more quickly than when walking there are some other words like gig a uh, gig is a carriage with two wheels pluff boy a boy whose job is to control a pluff pulled by a horse 
there is a phrase in a sap in a snap which means almost immediately thank you very much